3.8 solve systems of equations algebraically. So in the previous section we solved these systems by graphing them and that's an estimation. Algebraically means we're going to find the exact solution and so sometimes our solutions will come out not as whole numbers or integers but with fractions and decimals. Um, if you're lucky they come out in nice simple numbers but sometimes we have to deal with fractions and decimals no matter what but algebraically is the more is an exact answer rather than an estimation like graphing okay so I'm going to use substitution here and what substitution means is I'm going to set the expression part x minus 3 and the 2x equal to each other since both of these equations are already solved for y. It's saying that y is equal to x minus 3 and y equals 2x. So that means x minus 3 must equal 2x. So that is our equation that we're going to solve. And we're going to solve this equation for x. Okay, but we have an x on two sides, so what do we have to do? We have to cancel x on one of the sides. Usually I choose the x that has a smaller coefficient. So in this case, we have 1x over here. So I'm going to cancel that by subtracting x. We've done this before, right? This is an equation right here. We could draw our line there. So I subtract x on this side. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So these x's cancel out, leaving me with a negative 3 equals. Well, if I had two x's and I take away one of the x's, I'm left with 1x. So I have 1x right here equal to negative 3 so this right here is just part of my solution because if you remember when we graphed we have to find an ordered pair and an ordered pair has an x value and a y value so now we have our x value for our solution so to figure out what our y value is we're going to go ahead and substitute this negative 3 into any one of these two equations it doesn't matter which one you could choose either one. I'll just choose the first one. So I'm going to replace negative 3 into y equals x minus 3. And I'm going to replace it. So 3, um, x is negative 3. So we have negative 3 minus 3. So when x is negative 3 and I subtract 3 from that, that's the, the subtraction is adding the opposite. So I'm going to add a negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6. So the y is negative 6. So now I have my x value and my y value. So the point where these two lines intersect or where these two lines cross each other would be negative 3 comma negative 6. This will be my answer because we are looking for the point where the two lines intersect. So just to be clear, after I canceled x on one side, I ended up with x by itself and I got this value so I substituted that value into one of the equations I actually substituted into the first equation to find out what y equals so negative 3 negative 6 so in this example we have an equate when there's only one equation that has been isolated for y so this first equation y equals 3x plus 8 has been isolated for, for y and the second equation 8x plus 4y equals 12 has not been so the steps that we're going to take to solve this algebraically using substitution is we're going to substitute what y is equal to into the y of the other equation. So in this case, we're going to substitute the 3x plus 8 into that y right there in the second equation. So it's going to look like this. It's going to make a, a longer complex equation. So we're going to have 8x because that's from that equation plus 4 times y. So we're not going to have 4 times y anymore. We're going to replace that y with the 3x plus 8. So we use parentheses to put in the 3x plus 8. And then it's supposed to equal 12. So now we have a multi-step equation with the x uh, variable. So once we substitute, we're going to go ahead and simplify this equation, simplify it all the way down until we get to like a two-step equation then solve for x so first of all since I have parentheses in the four and we have multiplication of this we're going to use the distributive property by multiplying the four 
times the 3x and multiplying 4 times that 8 right there to get rid of the parentheses. So the 8x remains the same. 4 times 3x is 12x plus 4 times 8 is 32. Then bring down the equal sign and the 12. Okay, we still can simplify the left side because I have like terms. I have 8x plus a 12x. So 8x plus 12x gives me 20x plus 32 equals 12. And I can't simplify anymore. And like I said, it simplifies to a two-step equation. So our two-step equation, now I want to isolate for x. And so I need to cancel out that plus 32. So to cancel the plus 32, I subtract 32. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I want to subtract 32 from this 12. And that gives me a negative 20. So I have negative 20 on the right. And then on the left, I'm left with this 20x. So I have 20x over here on the left. x is still not isolated. It's being multiplied by 20. So to get x by itself and it's being multiplied by 20, I need to divide by 20. So if I divide by 20 on the left, I have to divide by 20 on the right. So negative 20 divided by a positive 20 gives me a negative 1. So x is equal to negative 1. So now I have my x value. Once I have my x value, I'm going to substitute this x value into one of the equations to find y. So I'm going to substitute it into the first equation since it's already isolated for y. So I'm going to put y equals 3 times x. Well, now we know x is negative 1, so 3 times negative 1 plus 8. So that gives me 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then it says plus 8, so negative 3 plus 8 is 5. So y is equal to 5. So if my x is negative 1, my y is 5. So the point where these two lines intersect will be negative 1 comma 5. And this will be the answer or the solution to my linear system of equations. Just as a word of caution or to make sure that it is understand, when you solve these systems, uh, even though both of these equations came out with integer answers, you may come out with answers that have decimal points or fractions. And that doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It just means that's where the two lines intersect each other. So please be aware that these kinds of answers are not always going to be the type of answers you get. You might get a decimal point or a fraction. All right. So good luck.